Hello, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace Corporation, where we bring experienced leadership tailored to your organization. Uh, in this week's capital raising segment, I'm asking the question, how are you going to raise the capital your business needs? We're coming out of a worldwide pandemic. There's been worldwide disruption. And if you're still around, you likely need capital. Now, capital is more than just equity capital or things like that. Capital is also debt. So when you first address the capital question, you need to focus first on how much debt you can raise, because debt is always at the end cheaper than equity, although it comes with uh, more personal risks. Uh, and, and then and then the difference between the debt you can raise and the equity that you need uh, it will, would, would be how much equity you need to raise. So on the debt side uh, for small business owners, um, Today is a really good day to be approaching the SBA to borrow money. They've been very well funded by uh, several of the last few um, rescue plans, you know, going back, not just PPP loans, but uh, several of my clients have gotten straight up uh, SBA loans, even SBA Express loans. Uh, you know, these are not going to be forgiven. They're loans, but, uh, you know, they can go up to a million dollars or the seven A's can go up to 10 millions. Uh, and some of them you can buy a company real estate and others you can't. Uh, there are many SBA options, uh, which I encourage you to explore uh, if that fits your business. Now, frankly, uh, how you raise capital uh, really begins first and foremost with what business you're in. Are you raising it for real estate that you want to develop? Well, SBA is not an option for you then. Uh, bank debt may be an option, but you're still going to need some equity capital. Uh, if if we get onto the equity side, uh, there's bootstrapping. You know, there's uh, maximizing out your credit cards. There's uh, asking friends and family. There's crowdfunding, which actually is not is a much more viable option now than it was even a year ago or or five years before that. There's angel investors. Uh, you know, if these these people want to want big returns. And they, they may be easy to work with. Uh, but you know, they do want a return beyond angel investors. There's venture capital and private equity. Uh, and then there's a traditional capital raise where you, you know, figuratively go door to door and, um, and ask people to invest in your company. Also a very technical area, uh, you know, cause you need to be mindful of accredited investors and, and the type of uh, exempt offerings that you can do. Um, anyway, so. A raise is going to be one of the toughest things that you've ever done in your entire business life. Uh, it's the sales job that you've never done before. Uh, in asking investors to essentially come partner with you and go on your journey with them, with their money, uh, it is a challenging thing. And there are um, best practices to, to know how to do this. Still, even if you're the best pitcher in the world, uh, you're going to get a lot of no's, and so you're going to need the thickest skin you've ever had. So there's and there's other things like investing clubs, but uh, these are things that we help our clients with. Uh, there's a couple of great articles that I've attached to this uh, blog uh, that you can research uh, review as well. Uh, but if we can help you um, uh, in this manner, you know, we are not placement agents and we are not attorneys, but um, we do. Uh, help uh, companies structure their raise and uh, in appropriate circumstances um, will help them uh, address their investors uh, and ask for uh, capital as well. So if we can help you with that, please let us know. Uh, thanks for watching.